Already in the past month, students in both Wyoming and Lawton learned the high price that can come with underage drinking. Police are investigating alcohol as a possible factor in crashes that killed all three of these people. 15-year-old Krista Howell, 17-year-old Timothy C., and 18-year-old James Reeder. Tragedies that could have been prevented. Tonight, we asked News Channel 3's Shereen Tangarobi to explore ways for teens to have fun and stay safe. She's joining us live in Wyoming with one idea. Shereen. Andy, things are starting to wind down here at Craig's Cruisers, but all night and all day, really, families, friends, youth groups have been coming here. They've been mini golfing, playing arcade games, going on the go karts. And for some, they come here, it's one place they go to to get away from certain peer pressures. My high school, it's a major part. I mean, people drug dealing in class, and it's just crazy stuff. Stuff Sam Osborne and teens like him choose to stay away from. Well, I'm pretty headstrong. I got I do what I want to do and I just stand up for myself. That's exactly what this Alto-based youth group and today's outing to Craig's Cruisers is all about. Especially teens in our community, there's not a whole lot to do. They can get into trouble really quick, uh, drinking and drugs, even out in the middle of nowhere. And so we really try to pull them in and get them connected with each other and just come out and do stuff like this. And if you're looking to live life in the fast lane, there's plenty of ways to do it without getting in trouble. Go to the beach, you know, it's sunny, it's nice and calm. I love to dance and sing. Have fun without making bad decisions. Oh! Peer pressure will always be there. Even more reason for parents to do their part, says Stephanie Hurst of Mothers Against Drunk Driving. Always, always tell their children, do not get into a car with someone who's been drinking, and if you yourself have been drinking, don't get behind the wheel. A message as crucial as the next. Teenagers need to hear over and over again that their parents are there for them, that they're, you know, no matter what happens, no matter what the situation is, that, you know, they can call them and they will come and, and help them out with that. There are free workshops through MAD's Power of Parents program. Those will help parents or anyone who needs the information on information with how to, um, talk to kids about drugs and alcohol. For more information on that, you can go to our website, click on the link section. We're live in Wyoming. Shereen Tagarobi, News Channel 3.